Alright, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for our Liteo Pokemon League battle. And today we're going against Jubani, and uh, he's the dark team leader, and uh, to say the least, this guy was very, very tough. A uh, little introduction on dark type, because dark type is actually one of the more complex uh, typings, to be honest. There are very few, like, pure dark type in the game, and most of them are dual combination typing, only because... Of course, to recover up for the bad typing in itself is a very, very much like ice typing. It's a very, very good offensive typing, but it got a lot of uh, common weaknesses. And of course, with fair introduction, uh, this typing even got worse. But you know, it's it's still very, very potent. Still hits very, very hard to a lot of Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I was generally scared about this guy because Alec uh, you know, or Xenon warm about this guy being very, very tough, and I should definitely prepare myself. And, um, yeah, I didn't do that. No, I did not. I actually thought, you know what, let's just head straight in and just try to get an idea on what is what it wants to do. And the first thing I saw was, oh my god, I got Tyranitar. Finally, it's somebody else using Sandstorm, so I don't have to rely too much about that. But other than that, you know, we got the Sableye, so that means I can't use my physical attackers as much as I want to. Mandibus, which walls everything, always, god damn it. And Hydreigon, which can be really, really potent, you know, with specs, if that's the case. And of course, Bishop and Murkrow, which always packs the Sucker Punch. And I know Bishop can use the Defiant as its ability, so I'm very scared of actually sending him a Nitric against it. It's gonna avoid that at all costs, because I don't want to risk it if that's the case. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm using my team as previously here. I have uh, changed up my man time a little bit, but that's about it. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to go nuts here. So I actually decided to start with Mega Manetric and just do the best of it, really. So in the beginning here, he starts with the Hydreigon. So I did fear it might be Scarfed, but it was Scarfed. I'm probably going to go for a U-turn. So I decided to uh, Mega Evolve anyway, getting an Intimidate off, and that's the case. And uh, go, for, like I said, for Volt Switch, really. Uh, it could go for Draco Meteor be in specs, but I should be able to survive that, but not well, but I will survive that. But he shows me at least that isn't Scarf, so that's a good thing. Uh, so I did expect maybe, in worst case scenario, he's gonna go for um, a special type move. So it goes for Dark Pulse, it doesn't do enough really. And I did expect him to switch out here, because I have a tendency to run Ice Beam, and that's gonna do a lot of damage to the Hydreigon. So I just went for Toxic here actually, I expect him to switch out really. And to be honest here, um, I didn't really know how to deal with the Sableye because uh, I have four physical attackers and none of them wants to get burned and I know it always packs Willowis so I might as well stay in here. Uh, I have at least a timer on the Sableye and that is, that's a good thing. I'd rather have it uh, toxic than, uh, than burned because of the well, good reasons of really, really be able to stop it. So uh, yeah. Like I said, it is a timer on this poke now, and I actually decide to uh, switch out here. Hoping for him to switch out, actually. So he's gonna go for a recover here, which is a good play on his part, because at least he gets a chance to recover some more. And uh, I do expect him to go for a will o wisp here, so I actually decide to switch back into my Mantine, because that will put, it, of course, the Toxic even further. And uh, it was actually a good prediction, but it went even better, because it actually switches out to Hydreigon. And he still believes that I have Ice Beam, and I can take any of his moves really well. So I did decide to go for a Toxic in case he decides to stay in. I don't have a real use for Mantine as it stands right now. But of course he sees that, and it's really frustrating. But there's only so much I can do here. So I decided, alright, I might as well go back to uh, my uh, Mega Manetric and just attack it. I know a Thunderbolt can do around 70%, so actually it's not a good position, but it is as good as it gets really. So yeah, of course the Intimulate, and it goes for a Dazzling Gleam here, and it gets Grit on me, and that is very frustrating, it doesn't do too much though, but he will get next turn to get a burn off, which is really, really sucking for me. But at least I pull off my Thunderbolt, and look at this guys, the Hax is balancing itself out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that crit was a huge, huge advantage for me, because that means that I'm freely here to go for uh, super power down off my poke, really. So here's a sandstorm up here, and just, alright, finally. So I do decide to go for a Volt Switch, because there is no way in hell that Tyrannicor could outspeed me, even if Tyrannicor was actually Scarfed, which it obviously wasn't with the Mega Form. So I decide to go into my Rapierier, 
And, uh, well, I want saw this golden opportunity to... Uh, I was hoping for him going for Nerf Break, considering I got the Solid Rock. It actually won't do too much damage on me. But I actually decides without going to his uh, Mandibus. And that is trouble, really. Because that is a choice by the superpower that they did nothing. Basically nothing. And I do a huge misplay here. I should definitely expect him having foul play, of course. But I did not. And it does almost half <laughs> the damage on me. But I should decide to stay in here and going for a Stone Edge anyway. Uh, and look at this. Did some fine damage there, and that is without the weaknesses. Uh, so I actually decided to stay in, you know, trying to finish it off. I know it's going to go for another foul play. And um, now it did more damage. I actually thought that damage was set. So very, very frustrating because I used, was pretty much waste my Gigalith, who are my special defensive wall against the Hydreigon, and now it's pretty much rendered useless. And uh, well, I just decided to go for a Volt Switch here because I could expect him, you know, to um, switch out there, but really. It wouldn't have mattered that much, and I just wanted to get Blue Rain here and get off the Sandstorm, trying to threaten him out, really, because it's no way in hell that this guy is want to take um, an Ice Fang, so I decided to go into my Mantine. He actually decides to say and go for Draco Meteor. I managed to survive this, even with the life of intact there, but of course the burn will take me out, but I didn't really mind it, because, you know what, I don't care. I don't care. Uh, so I can bring in my um, Mega Manetric Air, you know, to outspeed him and go for a Bolt Switch, which actually will take it out from that range. But he decide to um, prolong the suffering of that poor Hydreigon and going back to Tyranitar with a very, very good move on his part. And yeah, of course, the Bolt Switch with a crit did fairly damage there, but you know what? I'm just gonna go into Pulp and finish this off, really. And uh, yeah, Super Paul will easily take it out. So go full. Team Folk is back in action, and uh, he's gonna go into his buy shop now, and I didn't really want to take a sucker punch from this guy, uh, so of course it is risky to do that, go into Bugra because I know I can wall that out, he go for a low sweep here, which is very lucky for me, of course low sweep is doing nothing to this guy, and I did expect that, and uh, I'm gonna do a double switch here because I know it doesn't want to stay in, so I'm going back to my Rhyperior, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wreck houses here, really. So he goes for that foul play, which is really, really good of his part, of course, and not decide to uh, prolong it with the, you know, with the roost or anything like that. A rock blast will easily finish it off. So right now, I am the top of the world. The only thing I need to worry about is the buy shop because I can't really bring Mandibus to that. So I'm just gonna go to Bugra yet again, actually, to uh, you know, wall whatever he wants to do, and go for an earthquake and get some damage off, really. Because I can easily one it KO this, but something terrible, terrible had to happen, and I got a flinch against me. And uh, that flinch is gonna matter somewhat because that means I have to switch back to my Desultroya, and uh, pretty much finishing off. I there is nothing on my team that can take an Aranet here, and I need to keep the sand up again. And uh, going back to Bugra here, I've yet to see him use a sucker punch because I I easily could see another sucker punch on. Um, Fulf, of course, when I switched out before into my Bugra when he went for the low sweep. So I go into Fulf here, and uh, I had a mindset here that I easily could win him, but mm, damn it, this thing is sashed. <laughs> so that is really, really, and sadly bringing this game to a halt because the low sweep will easily take me out. And uh, it wasn't as fair that uh, he got the Defiant, which means that uh, the Intimidate will boost him even further. Not that it mattered, but it does pack the Sucker Punch and yeah, we'll finish this game really, really nicely here. So, Sally guys, I did not pull through this game, but it was actually a closer battle than you might think. But I did some bad plays here, my opponent did some bad, bad plays too, plus we got the hacks going. So uh, really, I think we both did our very best and yeah, it was actually very fair that he won as a result. So GG man, GG. So yeah, as you guys saw, Yubani did a very, very good game there and um, I'm actually just going to talk a little about the last turns there because I had another mindset because I didn't... For a moment I didn't think he packed a Sucker Punch because I didn't see a substitute, I only saw him using the Low Sweep, right, and Sword Stance. So with the that given opportunity I was actually thinking he had other type of moveset. So my thought process was of course, you know, to get that uh, superpower off, killing the Bioshock, forcing him to go to Murkrow and forcing him to go for a Sucker Punch 
which I will change to my Mega Manetric, getting Intimidate off, he will be in a good range of killing it off with a Sucker Punch, of course, which means I will switch it back into my uh, Fulf Sandstorm, still be enough, and still switch back to uh, my uh, Mega Manetric once again, and going for a Volt Switch, you know, trying to fake my attacks, and of course, uh, both Volt and Mega Manetric would be much able to uh, outspeed the Hydreigon, so uh, my... I think my thought process was in the right place, sadly didn't play off as that. And of course, to be very very honest here, I I sacked my Vulcan very badly. I didn't I didn't adjust myself to the Mandibus and it was able to bring down two of my pokes that was easily able to deal with the buy shop easily. So with that in mind though, you know it's it really sucks, it does, but uh, you know, like, like I said to you guys, I just want to battle everybody and uh, Poke Profile or uh, Yubani was definitely, he had, he had a better match here and was a smarter player and had a lot of fun battling him and I do expect to battle him yet again and try to win as much as a fairy guy. Um, and on that guys, you know, thank you for the support and thank you guys for watching really. I'm glad you're staying around to watch me struggle in this uh, league, <laughs> really. Uh, I do wish Adam and Sinon the best of luck with this guy, and other than that guys, thank you as always for watching, and have a good day. Alright guys, take care. Bye.